There are two opportunities you should take advantage of for really learning how to use JML. The first is the upcoming quiz on using the PDB. Since that's required for you, I won't say too much about it. But what I will talk about in this webcast is the JML tutorial, which actually gives you an opportunity to really look deeply at JML commands and think about how to use JML commands to manipulate structures. You can access the JML tutorial from the Momodak folder on Compass. And upon clicking that link, you'll see a page that looks like this. The tutorial is broken down into three parts, and each part relies more and more on you to provide the commands to actually manipulate the JML structure. So on this first page, anytime you see text in a gray box with a blue outline, you can click it to execute a command, and by mousing over that box, you'll be able to see in the tooltip what commands are executed. The commands operate on the JML below, and any commands you execute will also appear at this last command prompt. You'll notice that the flow of this tutorial follows the select makeover model very well. So select commands usually precede some kind of makeover, and we do this over and over again to make different things happen in the JML window. It also introduces the interesting concept of the subset, which allows you to actually zero in on a particular section of a JML and select atoms based on that subset only. So instead of using logical operators in excess, you can subset a particular portion of a structure and work only with that structure, even when using a keyword like select all. Once you get done with part one, continuing on to part two, you'll see that part two relies on you to actually type in commands yourself. Anything you see in light blue in the text is a command that's meant to be typed into the JML console. You can either type commands into this prompt here, or you can right-click and select console to bring up a more traditional JML script console. Take note of the red boxes you encounter as you go through the tutorial. These boxes provide pointers or pitfalls associated with the commands that are nearby. After completing part two, you can click continue to part three to move on to the final part of the tutorial, which will actually test your knowledge of JML by providing three pictures for you and a JML window in which you can create these images using JML commands. Click and drag the images to move them up and down to do each of the three images given, one after the other. By the time you reach part three of the tutorial, you'll probably be itching for a resource that shows you all of the commands available in JML and exactly how to type them. This resource does exist, but I would caution you against visiting it too early. Again, make sure you visualize before you decide what to do in terms of manipulation. If you have a plan in mind, then visiting a resource will provide the maximum benefit to you. The JML Interactive Script Documentation is accessible at this URL. This is the official documentation for the JML scripting language and has in it every single command available to JML. Under each command is a list of the parameters it can take and a few examples of how to use these parameters. It's searchable if you type Control or Command F in your browser, and many of the commands are intuitive and language-based. So if you want to do something that's a verb, you might as well try typing that verb as a first guess at the proper command. 